Good morning, guys. Guess whose birthday it is? It's not mine. Whose birthday could it be? Whose birthday is it? We're outside, so he wants to smell everything, but it's Arlo's first birthday. Happy birthday, buddy. I also wanted to start the vlog in a different location because we always start the vlog in my room, so why not start the vlog in the great outdoors? We never go over here, so he's so excited to smell everything. Okay. Let's go on a walk. Somebody's in a good mood this morning. Arlo, I don't know why he does this. Arlo, he's so cutie. Arlo, he picked up a stick. He always, <laughs> he always takes stuff with him on walks. It's usually a leaf. Today it's a little stick. Okay, don't eat it. Let's go. <laughs> we are back from our walk and I am interrupting Arlo time to give you guys something that you've been asking for a lot recently. I'm going to be talking about makeup, specifically my eyebrows, even more specifically how I fill in my eyebrows. So what you're going to need is an angled brush with a spoolie on the end. I use the Anastasia number no. 12 brush. I have found the Anastasia ones work better for me than anything else. I've tried so many different brushes. I like this one because it's thin um, and it's firm. You're also going to need a flat definer brush. This is the Luxie 221 flat definer brush. Um, basically, I just use this for concealer underneath my brows. I use the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel. I use the Arches and Halos Duo Luxury Brow Powder. This one you can get at Target. I use the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. For concealer, I use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. To start, I just spoolie through my brows. And one of my friends was asking me how I get them so symmetrical and really it just comes down to studying your face and I've realized that the tail end of my eyebrow here is a lot skinnier than the tail end here but on this eyebrow my eyebrow goes higher towards the arch than this one does so when I fill in my eyebrows I make this tail fatter and then I bring this eyebrow down lower and then things kind of look the same but really it just takes a lot of practice I don't think I could do somebody else's eyebrows and make it look symmetrical. I think it just comes to like knowing your own face. Um, and everybody has a naughty eyebrow. Mine is this one. So the first thing that I do is I take this, but I don't use it like a brow gel because this has a spoolie thing on it and then you can just run it through your brows. I don't like to do that. I take the angled brush and I just run it through and get some product on the brush and this stuff packs a punch. It is very uh, pigmented. I suggest if you buy this, I have it in the shade dark brown. Normally I go for like ebony or granite, like I go for the darkest colors, but this one runs darker because it's just like, it's a, it's a powerful product. Um, so I take it on my brush and really I just go all in. Like I can't, can't be careful. I'm not that kind of girl. I just kind of slap it on my face and hope that it turns out. But in case we do make mistakes, there are makeup wipes and there are there is concealer. I always start at the tail end of my brow, by the way. Um, I go tail, underneath, and then over. And then I usually have to dip back in here a few times. Just because this kind of dries out quickly. But make sure between getting more product, you close the lid. After I have the dip brow gel placed, I go in with the powder and I basically just put the powder over the gel just to set the powder, um, fill in any gaps that I might have missed, and also make it a little bit darker. Um, this one is, I already said the product, but it's in the shade Charcoal. And I really like this. It's my favorite brow powder I've tried, and I've tried a lot of brow powders. Um, I've tried the Anastasia ones, I've tried Benefit ones, but this one wins. It's really nice and pigmented. Um, and it's my favorite. Once all the product is placed, I go in with the concealer. I would say this is my number one tip anytime anybody asks me like how I get my eyebrows to look so clean. Always go underneath it with concealer. I don't know. I think it's a combination of like the stark contrast between the bright, because I always use a really light, really pigmented concealer. So maybe it's the contrast between my dark eyebrow and my really light concealer. Um, or it's just the fact that I'm cleaning up any like smudges or whatever, I don't know. Um, but it always makes it look like super crisp and nice. I would love to have feathery fluffy eyebrows, but I don't know how to do that. I've tried so many times, I just can't. But I just take my flat definer brush, 
put it in the concealer and then I just go underneath my whole eyebrow. I don't do it all around, but like you can. I just don't like to, especially because I use such a bright color. I don't want to put a really light color above my eyebrow because why would I want to highlight that? I don't know. So go underneath. And then the last step is to take your eyebrow gel. I like this one because it holds my eyebrows in place all day and no other brow gel has done that for me. My eyebrows like to dance around a lot throughout the day and this is the only one that can calm them down. So I just take it, I don't do anything crazy, I just run them through um, my eyebrows. I do my eyebrows myself so I like pluck and trim them myself and right now the hairs aren't that long so I otherwise I would do like the sticky straight up kind of thing. Right now I just don't, don't care because the hairs aren't really there. Here is a more straight on shot of my eyebrows. This one's done, this one's not done. As you can see, I look a lot more uniform on this side, huh? huh? And like naked on this side. Like my natural eyebrows aren't bad, but I just like to have the definition, especially because my hair is so dark. It just looks so much better when my eyebrows are filled in. So I'm gonna fill in the other one and then I will show you, actually I'm gonna do my all my makeup and then I'll be back. Ta-da, here are both eyebrows finished. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was quick enough. I filmed one yesterday and I lost all the footage, but it ended up being really, really long. So I hope this didn't bore you. Okay, I gotta go to school, but when I come back, we will have more Arlo footage. I'm home. Hello, birthday boy. Hello. Oh, oh birthday sleepies. Oh, oh you're cutie butt. Oh, hi, birthday boy. You're so cute. I missed you. I hate going to school because then I have to leave your cute little face. Hi. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Arlo. Happy birthday to you. He wants to leave. Happy Blow your birthday. candle. Oh no. Arlo, help me. <laughs> what the freak? There you go. Yay. Yay. <laughs> okay. Then take this off. Thank you, bud. You, buddy. Happy oh, he birthday. Wants he wants to eat it on the rug. Yeah. There you go, buddy. Is it yummy? He's just licking it. <laughs> Arlo, is your birthday cupcake. So, Arlo has a lot of fears and we wrapped all his presents in tissue paper and we're gonna see if he'll open them. But I don't know, and there's also lots of other dogs here as usual. Okay, Arlo, what's this? What's that in there? Give up. Oh, what's that? What's that? Oh, what's that? <laughs> Cannot oh, bust her over. What's that? What's in there, babes? Oh, oh my goodness, you're struggling pretty hard, baby. Oh, almost there. What is that? Almost. Oh, what is that? Almost. That's why oh. what you got. It's so blurry. Yeah! <laughs> Getting it. <laughs> What's that? Arlo. Oh my goodness. Okay, baby. He loves this. What a fun game for Arlo. More what toys. is that, Arlie? More toys. Oh More my more goodness. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Wait, Arlo. Arlo. You won. <laughs> not a very, not a very gentle gift opener. Oh, oh my gosh, Harley Bear! <laughs> okay, I saved the edible one for last. Babe, what's in there, pops? You're gonna love this one. <laughs> Baby, don't give up. Babes, come on. What's more cupcake? Arlo. Oh. 
You see it? Oh, yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yummy! Are you so happy, birthday boy? I wanted to take a moment to talk about Arlo. He's been manhandled a little too much today. He's like, Mom, why do you keep picking me up and holding me? It's because we have a lot of pictures that we take and a lot of, a lot of videos that we're taking today. But I just wanted to talk about Arlo. Wanted to say some stuff that he likes and some stuff that he does so that in the future I can look back on this and be like, Aw, remember when you were just a little baby? Remember when you were just a little bug? One thing he does is he's still very mouthy, but he doesn't bite hard. And I do discipline him, um, but not all the time. You like my earrings? Um, because he's cute and we wrestle. He's not a cuddler. I always get jealous because we keep in contact with a lot of the dogs from, not his litter, but from the same dog parents. I, ugh. But everybody else's corgi is a cuddler and mine isn't. Is it because the lighting's bad? You just farted and it stinks. He has nasty farts, that's another thing disgusting bro but yeah he's not a snuggler we are a wrestling family we literally like go hard 24 7 i'm always covered in dog hair i wish he was snuggly though he doesn't sleep in my bed even though he has the opportunity to i would love for him to sleep with me but he'd rather sleep on the floor or sleep on his crate with in his crate with the door open um he just is a pretty independent you want to play with your ball <laughs> he's a pretty independent dog um, and like I said, he's not snuggly. He is very protective of me though. Um, he's always with me every time I go to the bathroom. Like if he's asleep on the other side of the house and he hears my bathroom door open, he will come running. He loves to be a bathroom buddy. If my friends come over, he wants to go to the bathroom with them too. He likes to go to the bathroom with my parents. He's just a really good bathroom bud. Um, he also goes with me every time I go to take out the garbage. He kind of just always have to, has to have his eyes on me. <laughs> I hope that's not annoying you guys. It's kind of distracting me. He's like always watching me and he's really protective of me, which I think is really cute. And I'm really protective of him too. Um, his biggest flaw is resource guarding. He's very bad about uh, guarding me as a resource. Sometimes my mom, um, food. He always gets in fights with my other dog, Buster, about food. Like after I filmed him opening his present, that little hoof that he got, they got in a fight over that. Um, and it's a little scary because Arlo's bigger and a lot younger. Buster's 13, so he's very elderly. Um, but yeah, Arlo doesn't go too hard. I don't know what he's doing. His favorite toys are um, this little squeaky pig. And he likes the long like rope thing. It was one of the presents he got. We got him a second one. Um, he likes to like bring his toys to me, which is really cute. Like I'll just be hanging out on my bed and he'll bring me toys and I love it. Um, he doesn't like it when I'm on my bed though. He doesn't like it when I sleep. He doesn't like it when I'm like playing video games. He wants me to be running around with him constantly. What are you doing? His favorite, favorite thing though is the ball. And he can catch it. <laughs> that was good, dude. He can catch it and we throw it down the hallway and then he chases it. Um, he plays with the ball nonstop. He loves spending time with my parents. Um, his grandma is his favorite person besides me, I hope. I don't know, we're probably tied. But he really loves my mom and my parents are so freaking helpful with Arlo. I don't think I could be doing this without them. Like they have done so much for me with him. Um, can, can, you, can you chill? But yeah, he is very, <laughs> he's a spoiled dog with love. Um, we love him a lot, and he's really, really intelligent. He knows a few tricks. Hey, Arlo, speak. <coughs> Thank you. He needed eye contact. Good boy. And he knows down, he knows roll over, and he knows how to give five, too. I try to teach him how to wave, but he ends up just jumping around. Um, he has little arms. But he's just my smartest, best boy. He is my best friend, the love of my whole life. I just adore him. He's so cute and stinky and perfect, and... I think that he's the best first dog I could have asked for. Like, he's so chill. He was so easy to potty train. He was so easy to crate train, too. He's just really stubborn. He knows a lot more than you would think, and he knows when he's doing something bad uh, all the time. And he's just, he's just stubborn, but he's really, really smart, and 
kind of bossy and blurry. But basically, he's just the coolest dog in the world, and uh, everybody loves him, and he loves everybody. He's a really friendly dog, too, which is really nice. Um, he is definitely friendlier than I am, though, so when we're out in public, he always wants to stop and say hi to everybody. I can't, I can't do that. Like, I can't just be talking to people all day, because when people see us, they want to pet him for, like, ten minutes, and, like, sometimes I have places to go. But I love that he makes people happy, and I love that people make him happy. He really loves kids for some reason. He hasn't really been around a lot of kids, um, but he loves them. He's the coolest, and I love him. Now we're just chilling. He's playing with one of his new toys. He likes to chew on tags. And then that's the rope thing I was talking about earlier. He just ran in. He ran in two times, both times bringing one of each of those toys to me. And he's just, you're just so cute, Arlo. You're the best. And I hope you had the best birthday ever. Everybody comment, happy birthday, Arlo. Arlo, happy birthday. Before I go, I have to throw in an apology, as I do every video. I have been having hard drive problems with my Mac, so I had two complete vlogs that I had ready to go, and then I lost them both. So I haven't forgotten you guys. I've been trying really hard. I'm really, really hoping that I fixed my computer and that this will get on the internet, but we'll see. So I love you guys. I hope you watched this. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye, guys.